Okay, I just wanted to show my settings and stuff and how I just send this to my laser. So I'm going to click import because I've got it onto a card. So now I've got to just find it on that card. Yeah. And you can see this is these are the original photos and this is after the divering on image R. I'm going to use the image R divered one. So I'm going to double click that. Which I'm going to change this to inches. 8 by 10, yeah, that's roughly what I want it, so I'm going to put it up here near the center of the laser so it's over the top of the where the air is being sucked out. For me, I like a little bit slower, I'm going to say 280, and then because I'm not using borax or anything, I'm going to put a higher power, I'm going to say 26 power, air assist off, I set this at when I done it in image R, it, you know, you can resize it. I set it to 260 dots per inch. And then here, where it's on dibber, you want to make sure this is on pass through. You've got to type that in first. And then click pass through, because now it's going to use image R's dibber in. Which, if you zoom right in, you can see, like, this is, you know, how the laser's going to fire. You might have to put a frame to cut it out. You could just... Just in case I don't know if I've got a piece of wood exactly 8 by 10 so I'm just going to do that and lift this top up a little bit so it's not too close to his ear. And then just make sure your line is cut last. So image first, it's going to engrave and then line after. Right, and once you're over the laser just file, you'll see dog 1, enter allow this to load another thing to do while you're here once that's loaded just check your bed make sure it's not going to crash in or anything i've got to go down a little bit and then what i do is press frame once and then i'll go over to the laser bed okay i'm over at the laser bed i've framed it so it's now where it's going to be going and then you just want to line that up you can see this wood's really curved. I just want to see if this is going to fit for a minute, so I'm going to frame it. Oh, that's lucky, it just goes in there. So then, the other file I gave out on line 3 for these. just want to pin it down. the laser uh, one other thing I wanted to mention is like this everything is stock I've still got like everything stock and still like the stock two inch lens on there as well so I mean if you add the high definition lens you might get a little bit more detail but you can see it's pretty well detailed yeah that was 280 speed 26 power and then 12 speed and 60 power to cut the edge which does good don't char well, maybe a tiny bit but yeah pleased about that come out it's running the show because I, I didn't realize right when i started i didn't realize about the pass through and using divering from another program and now like i find that works a lot better for me i'm sure you can do it in lightburn if you you know if you learn it in lightburn but I've always used Photoshop and just the I've added other videos showing my process on Photoshop and then just you know deliver it with image art and yeah, you can get some nice results. Some police found that came out, so yeah, just wanted to show that. So thanks for watching and please like and subscribe and I'll be adding more videos. Thanks again.